long overdue request, but it's Gore XD time. Anxiety about dandelions, please, Code? Imagine blowing on a dandelion, but something flies up your nose last minute, and you end up inhaling the whole thing. Thanks, I hate it. I think I just washed and rinsed my face with mouthwash. I am sorry, you think? I'm going by scent here, but it's either that or the weird stuff you spray a sore throat with. Please explain yourself! It was purple and vaguely minty, my face is numb. I'm consistently impressed that despite all the fire hazards present in the average household, I have never once accidentally caused fire. That's the kind of life skill that goes on the CV right next to PowerPoint skills. So, it has recently come to my attention that I did, on single occasion, just one time, set the stovetop on fire when I was 11, and try to caramelize sugar for the profiteroles my mom didn't know I was making. For the record, one accidental fire is still a pretty good track record. Can you please say something soft, warm, and comfortable? Mayhaps the shadows mean you no harm. Then drape around you like a well-worn cloak. They act as a blanket and swaddle even when- They act as a blanket and swallow even when light fails you. Do not fear the quiet shadows that shift from corner to corner, seeking only a soft place to settle. Let them creep into your room at night and sit mildly by your bedside, whispering you to sleep. That was... huh. If I die scatter my ashes in the ocean, I want to haunt the fish. Uh, if? Yeah, just in case. God, reading your post feels like eating a banana. It's kind of tingly and itchy. It makes me very uncomfortable, but I also like it too much to stop. You are allergic to bananas. Are you uninformed loons really unaware that bananas aren't supposed to cause tingling and swelling sensations? Also, potatoes are not supposed to give you potato sweats, and pineapples aren't supposed to be spicy. I have very convicted feelings about ice makers. I like that they make cold crunch water, but I hate the cunt's jump scares. Same. How do you deal with your actions having consequences? I can't imagine it. To be honest, I spend the vast majority of my time dealing with the consequences of other people's actions. Hope I get around to mine someday. But the other actions piles just keep racking up! What if Bodes had emotions? Mine are always hungry. Today is spring cleaning and I have called the coat hanger a whore. Well, was it being a whore? Well, it got tangled in a pile and nearly snapped my finger, so at the very least it was being a bitch. Update! I call the kitchen cabinet the C-word. <gasps> what are, like, other ways of referring to non-binary siblings? Other than just sibling? Ah, uh, Nuisance. Perfect. Feelings about ducks? They deserve to be rewarded for not being geese. Yeah, seriously. Question. Are you flammable? I'm asking for a friend. Anyone is if you're determined enough. Can you imagine how furious I was at the James Bond franchise when I found out scorpions and piranhas are not lethal? They're what? They're almost always not lethal I'm so mad! This ruined my day. You know what are the most fatally venomous creatures in the world? These little little bitty fuckers. The blue ring octopus and cone snail. In conclusion, Bond villains are dramatic fools who value flair over efficiency. You want a dead secret agent? Tiny octopus is how you get a dead secret agent! Tumblr, thank you for informing me that one Bond villain has done this and her name was Octopussy because the James Bond franchise really will just do whatever. Jesus Christ, I forgot that was a name. Hey, Code, I'm leaving secondary school soon. Can you give me a yearbook quote, please? Wherever you go in life, it is always expedient to be the most frightening thing in the room. Know what I respect? Little kids making strange noises for no discernible reasons. Don't enjoy being in close range necessarily, but I do respect the heck out of it. You mean like when those Girl Scouts were growling at each other? That's what Girl Scouts do. You get two more in the vicinity and they'll be growling. It's a territorial thing. And also ways members of the same pack identify each other. Girl Scout things. We all have that one haunted stuffed animal whose memory is best left buried in the dredges of repressed childhood memories. <sighs> Bradley. Goat, have you ever, like, seen someone take physical damage from something you said? Oh, in boarding school, I taught myself to read the Korean alphabet without telling any of my international student friends. Later, we were hanging out in someone's dorm, and I picked up a Korean newspaper, started reading it out loud. Sho Chung fell off her bunk bed. Korean alphabet is really easy. It's, like, the best in the world. You should try it. I bet you can't give me anxiety from Silly String. You know, one time I could smell the scent of Silly String emanating from the walls. And I just assumed that meant the clowns were coming for me. It turned out my AC had gas leak, which I'll take any day over the approach of the withering clown horde. <laughs> oh God!